Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you're having a good day today. If you have a Life of Fred Butterflies book, go ahead and pull that out now. We're going to be on page 25, chapter three. Remember, you can press pause at any time during this video. The title is called, A Bug Up Close. Fred piled a stack of books on the floor and stood on them. He moved Kingy so that he could see the bugs. Kingy liked to sit on top of Fred's head. It was nice and flat. The bugs were moving. They were crawling across the top of the desk. They were coming right toward Fred and Kingy. Fred liked that. The closer they came, the better Fred could see them. Kingy did not like that. He hopped off of Fred's head and ran over and stood next to Betty. Fred leaned over. He wasn't afraid of bugs. He put his face right down on the desktop. That might have been a mistake. One of the bugs crawled on his nose. Kingy hid behind Betty's legs. He couldn't stand to watch Fred with a bug on his nose. As the bug crawled on his nose, Fred could see what the bug really looked like. Time out. Sometimes things are too much. Sometimes things are too little. Did you ever read the story of Goldilocks? One bowl of mush was too hot. One bowl was too cold. But the third bowl was just right. One of the beds was too hard and the other was too soft, but the third one was just right. Kingy was too afraid of bugs. He ran across the room and hid behind Betty. Fred wasn't afraid enough. You shouldn't let bugs crawl on your nose. Betty had just the right amount of fear. She picked the bug off of Fred's nose and put it back on the desk. She explained to Fred, some bugs are nice and won't hurt you at all. Other bugs will bite. These two pictures are silly. Bugs do not have eyebrows. If you wanted to count the legs on the bug on the right, the hard way to do it would be to count all the left legs and then all the right legs. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight. It would be easier to count by twos. Two, four, six, eight. Are the bugs gone? Kingy asked. He was still hiding behind Betty. Betty told Kingy, it's okay. These bugs are caterpillars. They don't bite people. Caterpillars just eat things like leaves. Betty picked up Kingy and asked him, do you like butterflies? Kingy said, yes, they are pretty. It's those caterpillars that are ugly and scary. And everyone knows sometimes when dolls talk, not just their owners can hear them. Let me tell you a butterfly story, Betty said. She told Fred to draw pictures while she told the story, Betty's story. Butterflies like to fly around. Fred's picture. Error in Fred's drawing. Butterflies do not fly airplanes. Betty's story. They lay eggs on leaves. Fred's picture. Error in Fred's drawing. Butterflies do not lay eggs the size of chicken eggs. Butterfly eggs are small. Betty's story. The eggs hatch and turn into caterpillars. Fred's picture. Betty's story. The caterpillars eat a lot. They grow up. They become a chrysalis. Fred's picture. Error in Fred's drawing. Moths use cocoons. Butterflies do not. Betty's story. Butterflies hatch. They spread their wings and fly away to find a leaf to lay their eggs on. Fred's picture. Okay, everyone, that's it for today. Are you ready for your turn to play? 
Remember, you can press pause at any time. Go ahead and grab a piece of paper and a pencil, and let's begin. Number one, how many eyes are on these caterpillars? Number two, starfish have five legs. How many legs on these starfish? It's much easier if you count by fives. Number three. This is the set of months beginning with M, March and May. Write the set of months beginning with F. Number four. Four plus five equals what? Number five. Five plus two equals what? Okay, here are your answers. Go ahead, press pause and check your work. Now, are you ready for today's homeschooling meme? Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that one. I'll see you here tomorrow for chapter four. Bye.